graphing an exponential function f of x equals a parentheses b and a parentheses to the x power. Graph the ex exponential function f of x equals 5 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 to the x power. To graph the function, plot the points on the graph with x values minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then click on the graph icon. So we start with this function f of x equals 5 over 2 multiplied by 2 to the x power. And we're going to start with making ourselves a chart. With x, what we put in, and f of x, what we get out. So we're putting in negative 2. So f of negative 2 equals 5 divided by 2 times 2 to the negative 2 power. So in my calculator, I'm going to start with a parentheses. 5 divided by 2, and parentheses new parentheses, 2, and the parentheses, and then I'm going to use this caret button, which gives me the power, I'm going to put in negative 2. So now I have f of negative 2 equals 5 divided by 2, multiplied by 2 to the negative second power. I'm going to press enter, that gives me an answer of 0.625. And then I'm going to change that to a fraction, which is 5 divided by 8. Okay, now our second value up here says, find it, 4, negative 1. F of negative 1 equals 5 divided by 2 times 2 to the negative 1 power. That's what I'm going to put in my calculator. I use parentheses to keep my fraction together. Then I'm going to multiply 2 to the negative 1 power. That gives me an answer of 1.25 or 0.25. Now, we're trying for 0. What happens when f of 0? We still have 5 divided by 2. And then our 2, now we have a 0 power on our 2. 2 to the 0 power is a 1. So I'm going to type it in just like I have the other ones. 5 divided by 2 times 2 to the 0 power. That gives us 2.5, which is the same as 5 over 2. <coughs> All right, moving on. Now we're going to put in 1. What is f of 1? 5 over 2 times 2 to the first power. I'm just going to keep it in. The same way every time. And I get out 5. Because 2 to the first power is 2, then it reduces with the 2 that was getting divided. That's why we get 5. Alright, let's get up a little. Now we're going to try the number 2. This is our last one, f of 2. We have 5 over 2 times 2 to the second power. 5 divided by 2 times 2 to the second power. That gives us 10. Okay, so now we have these points. We have x and f of x, which is our y answer. So these are the coordinates of the points that we're going to plot. On Alex, make sure you use the, the plotting one that will give you an exact point for these fractions, okay? Just point, plot this point, plot this point, to get all five points. Okay, so here's my graph. and 
2. Those are my x values. And the numbers I get out are the y values. So negative 2 was at 5 eighths, which was uh, just over a half. So there's my first point. Uh, negative 1 gave me 5 fourths, which was just over 1. 0 gave me 2 and a half. My graph is going to go into my words. 1. Hmm. I'm going to have to make my graph much bigger. Oops. 3. 4. Negative 2, negative 1, 0. Then at 1, we got the answer 5 out. And 2 gave us the answer of 10. So our graph's going to look like this. Okay, so when you're on Alex, you're going to plot the 5 points using the plotting, the point plotter yourself, um, and not doing it yourself, letting Alex get it just precisely where it's supposed to be, and then you're going to press graph and it will draw the line for you. Okay, so you need to do this part, make the table and get the points, then plot these five points, and then press the graph button. Okay, good job.